From the Opepco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is a Cable Motors OU update with Travis Haney. I'm Jenny Carlson. Travis, big win for the Sooners on Saturday, but clearly a big loss with Ryan Broyles going out. Just really affected everything in that game, it seemed like, on Saturday. Yeah, Oklahoma got up 41-10, to 10, but at the same time that that was happening, Broyles was on the sideline on a training table learning that he had torn his left ACL out for the year. So just a devastating injury. Going back and watching it, Jenny, I don't know if you've seen it, but just hard to watch. It's just a strange kind of play. He's getting pulled down from behind, tries to twist away from the tackle and make a little spin move, and winds up tweaking his knee doing that. So I guess that's the way it happens. That's what Bob Stoops said. He's torn his ACL a couple of times, so he would know. But you never want to see it happen to anybody. But Broyles had such a, an outstanding career for to be four games away from the end. You just wanted to see him play it through. He's leading the country in receiving yards. He was about 400 and change away from the NCAA all-time receiving yards. He'd already set the catches record. So just uh, an incredible career. A great guy, a, a beloved teammate, a guy who's from Norman, a community guy. So just everything adds up to it just being just tragedy. That was what Aaron Colvin said about it. Yeah, and I think that's true. But now obviously the Sooners have to move on without him. Who does this put the impetus on most? Is it Kenny Stills or Jazz Reynolds or somebody else? Well, seriously, Jenny, if you had a nickel for every time you heard somebody say step up, you might have enough for a coat because <laughs> step up is the buzz phrase down in Norman right now. Jazz Reynolds and Kenny Stills have to be givens. Uh, and that means a lot for Reynolds, who's come a long way this year, a guy that we didn't really expect much from when the season started. But it's got to be beyond that because you know how this offense works. They're running 90 plays a game. They're going to need a serious rotation. So Dewan Miller's a veteran's got to move forward and do something. Uh, Trey Franks on a more consistent basis has to emerge. Camille Jackson, maybe even as a freshman, has to do more. The tight ends may need to get more involved, something we wrote about last week. The running backs, Roy Finch out of the backfield. It's going to take a collective effort to make up for an All-American. All right. Thanks, Travis. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day.